Kimono Dragon. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, the Kimono Dragon. And guess what? Again, I want to talk about who will be the next big Marvel movie villain. And let's go. Hit it, Philip. Mr. Sinister. Created by Chris Claremont and Mark Silvestri, he made his first appearance in the Uncanny X-Men number 212 back in December 1986. Mr. Sinister has substantial power. He has superhuman strength, durability, and longevity. He is a telepath. He also has telekinesis. He could use concussive energy projection waves. He can manipulate his body at the molecular level and he can use teleportation. Mr. Sinister has a genius level intellect. In the 1800s, he was a biologist obsessed with Charles Darwin's theories on natural selection. That obsession led him down a dark and immoral path, which resulted in him unearthing human specimens for his mutation experiments. Mr. Sinister was the leader of a group called the Marauders. The Marauders did his dirty work by gathering his specimens for him. And one of these specimens turned out to be the mortal Egyptian mutant in Sabanur, or AKA Apocalypse. It was then that Apocalypse decided that he needed Sinister for his future endeavors and gave him his powers and his new physical appearance. Mr. Sinister's true power lies in his intellect and his manipulation skills. It's because of this that I don't think there's any need to compare him to Thanos, because we're not really talking about physical power here. But listen to this. So it was later discovered that Mr. Sinister was directly responsible for the birth of Nathan Summers. You know, Summers, Cyclops, Nathan Summers is Cable, right? So it went like this. Unbeknownst to Jean Grey, Mr. Sinister had got hold of some of her DNA and cloned her. The clone was named Madeline Pryor. So Madeline Pryor hooked up with Cyclops and she had a baby named Nathan Summers. So the baby came down with this tech techno organic virus and was ushered off into the future where he could, you know, possibly get a cure. So he comes back in the future as the future warrior Cable. So Cable in some of the stories was directly responsible for helping defeat Apocalypse. So who was behind all of these things, all of these occurrences, all of these things that happened? Mr. Sinister. So to see a mind like that, you know, playing with the minds of the Earth's heroes will, will definitely be more intriguing than just to see someone overpower them all the time. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, but if you'd like to have a more in-depth discussion on these characters, because right now I'm just doing a, a really quick graze over their abilities and background for this series in general, but I can go further into it. Just let me know in the comments, but with that said, see you later. Please like and subscribe to The Kimono Dragon. If you do not, then your family shall be disgraced.